Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome, 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 welcome back. Um, I'm popping in real quickly, really quickly, because I wanted to discuss two topics. This is going to be really short. I'm trying to get out of here in under eight minutes. Under. First topic. <clears throat> I saw Candace Bissett from Real Housewives of Potomac on Wendy Williams. My thoughts remain the same as they did in my video yesterday, which I stated ad nauseum. I am not here for someone playing the respectability and racial politics. And Candace is, it looks like she's the conductor of that train and she's choo-chooing down a hill with no brakes. If she continues that way, which I think she will, I'm going to be really frustrated with her, to say the least. Um, being black and being a woman has nothing to do with the reason why they got in a fight. They got into a fight because, or an altercation, because Monique is angry and upset about multiple things in her life. And Candace was maybe an annoying point and she decided to take out her anger on Candace. It was wrong. I told y'all Monique crazy as hell. And if it had been me, uh, it would have been the opposite way around when she flicked my hair. But um, Candace, this isn't about race. This isn't about gender. It's not about class. It's about. It's not about any of that. Monique did those things because she's a violent person. That's just who she is. That is separate from her blackness and from her womanhood. So I wish you would stop. I wish you would stop parading around on a publicity tour talking about how embarrassing it is to black women. No, it's not embarrassing to me. You all don't represent me. You, you all don't represent me and you need to full stop pause right there. Stop saying this is about black women. It's not. Dr. Wendy said that on the show last night. Was that last night? No, Sunday night, which pissed me off. One of us, we are not a monolithic people and one does not represent the whole. And we have to stop playing in to those old, now they're not old, but they the formation of them um, dates back. We have to stop playing to these racist notions you know that one of you represents all of you and that's untrue we are all individuals right no white person says i wonder what the black people think ever i promise you Teresa judice 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 whatever her name is today because y'all know that girl changed her name the pronunciation of her last name every day when she flipped that table over she didn't say i wonder what the blacks think when Lisa Renner was acting a fool down to the uh, Beverly Hills, she didn't say, I wonder what my black friends would think if she has black friends. They don't say that. Racial minorities tend to want to position themselves in proximity to white privilege. And that's a different discussion for a different day, for a different day, so we don't have to go there tonight, of course. But I find that a lot of times racial minorities tend to, and I, I, I should say we, I don't do it, but I'm, I'm black, so obviously I'm a racial minority. Um, racial minorities tend to seek approval, whether implicitly or directly, from their white counterparts. I, I want to behave like a good Negro. I'm not causing trouble. And that in itself is an issue. So, Candace, please stop this performative uh, advocacy for black women. It, I, stop tying in you all's reality foolishness to us regular black women and black men who ain't participating in nothing like this. This is a reality TV show. It is fake and scripted on the sense that if you didn't like somebody, you just wouldn't meet up with them. On this show, you have to. So stop relating this to blackness and you're intelligent enough not to do it. You're doing it purposefully because now you're being manipulative of people's emotions. So I'm gonna end there. The second topic. There are a few YouTube content creators that are allowing Monique to utilize their platform for biased publicity. And there's one in particular that I'm really disheartened about because I've been looking at them for years. And just a tidbit of advice, and not from YouTuber to YouTuber, because I just started my YouTube channel. Me and my 12 subscribers, shout out to the 12. <laughs> I'm grateful for all of you. you. You can ask my husband. Well, no, you can't ask my husband. But I do tell my husband, like, I got to subscribe. I got to subscribe. Woo -woo. So I celebrate each and every one of y'all. So thank y'all. Love you so much. Thank you for joining me on this journey. But not from YouTuber to YouTuber, content creator to content creator, because, I mean, hell, I mean... My channel compared to that person's is like, you know, just a, a little, a little, a little fraction, not even that of theirs, but from person to person, from professional to professional, 
Don't let anyone ever control your space. Whatever space you have, don't let anyone control it. I don't see Monique paying you all for that biased content, but if she is, name a price. If you, if you must be bought and sold, name your price then. Don't let this woman give you old stale tea in a DM and that's enough to tide you over because it's to the point where this person's subscribers are calling them out on it. Like, listen, you're being biased. Like you would never think this way about anyone else. You're being biased. Like don't allow your friendship to get in the way. And she's cursing out people. She's going off on people. She's calling them dumb, blocking them. And it's like, hey, is it that serious over a fake friendship? Because Monique is not friends with you. Please, after she uses you for whatever it is, she's going to discard you. She's done it to other YouTubers. Monique has been doing that since, since her first season. She's been canoodling with black YouTube reviewers and... I believe she thinks her friendship is enough to prevent them from analyzing her critically. So with that being said, content creators, shouldn't nobody control this. Shouldn't nobody control this. One thing I like about Funky Dineva is that regardless of who he's friends with, he will tell you when they're wrong or right. He done talked about Kwa so many times. <laughs> he done drug Kwa by her edges so many times. I said, damn, y'all still friends? <laughs> y'all still friends for real? But I prefer that, even Candy. But he even says, like, this puts me in a difficult position, but hell, I'm going to say what I got to say. Because that's his brand. That's his business. Don't allow nobody coming in and mess up your business. Because at the end of the day, when they're off of these shows, they're not. you're not their friend. They're not going to call you up and have lunch with you. Like, just because you don't change your opinion just to say you know somebody, it's really not that serious. You know, that's not me going in. That's just an observation of mine. Keep it true and remain true to yourself always. Because this right here, these celebrities, the real ones, are now figuring out that YouTube is profitable. And they're using their star power to trot on over here, amass millions or thousands of subscribers in less than a day, and they're profiting from the ads and everything else. Watch, look at Dr. Heavenly. Look at, Doc, look at I almost said Dr. Candy. Look at Candy, look at Nene. They're now here on YouTube, popularizing, or not popularizing, taking up a space that was for the regular average person who just wanted to get on camera and say something. I'm just saying, don't let, don't let them utilize your YouTube channel. This is yours. Stand firm in who you are and what you believe in. You already have the subscribers. You already have the popularity. Don't risk your loyal subscribers for a chick on a reality show who lies and fights people because she's emotionally stupid. All right, y'all. Oh, that's all I have. I hope you guys have a nice day. I will talk to you all a little bit later this week. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record Sunday because I have to go into the office on Sunday, unfortunately. So the video for a Real Housewives may not be up until Tuesday, but hopefully you all still watch, but I will see you all then. I may pop in here. I may pop in here a little earlier, but it won't be about Real Housewives. Hopefully not. We are gonna wear ourselves out, but see y'all later. I will see y'all later.